Imagine this, you're enjoying a peaceful evening when suddenly, a growling sound pierces the quiet outside your house. Curious, you step outside to investigate, but the darkness obscures your vision. Just then, a heavy thud resonates through the air, like a large deer bounding toward the woods. Compelled, you follow the sound and discover a pair of glowing yellow eyes fixed on you. What could they belong to? A wild animal? A wendigo? Or perhaps a creature yet unnamed? The truth behind these mysterious eyes might just astonish you. Hello horror fans, this is your Moonlight Whisperer, Alex, and today I'm going to share a bizarre story that will not only blow your mind but also challenge everything you know about human resilience and survival. Before we dive into the story, if you're new here, consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. We're aiming for 100 likes today, so hit that like button if you enjoy the content. So the story goes like this. Officer Jeff of Minor Mountain Police Department responded to a 911 emergency call at the Barnes residence where he was greeted by Mrs. Barnes. She recounted a chilling tale of something trespassing on her property. Initially, she heard noises downstairs resembling the rapid footsteps similar to hoof of a deer or some other creature. But as she investigated, the sounds transformed into menacing growls sending shivers down her spine. Fearful for her safety, Mrs. Barnes wisely contacted the authorities. Adding to the unease, she revealed that she caught sight of a pair of glowing yellow eyes lurking in the darkness, watching her every move. As Officer Jeff listened intently, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this mysterious encounter than meets the eye. Feeling anxious, Officer Jeff decided to stay and watch over the residents from his car. However, exhaustion crept in and he inadvertently fell asleep. He was abruptly awakened by a chilling howl echoing from the nearby woods. His curiosity was piqued, so he armed himself with his trusty gun and flashlight. Officer Jeff ventured into the darkness to investigate. As he approached the woods, a gruesome sight greeted him, a dead deer, its flesh partially consumed. It was evident that something had hunted and killed it with savage precision. Initially attributing it to a wild animal, Officer Jeff's skepticism waned when he heard screams unlike any animal known to him. Undeterred, he pressed on, the eerie noises leading him deeper into the woods. Suddenly, a wild roar from behind a bush startled him. Whatever was there seemed enraged, its presence ominous and threatening. Officer Jeff knew he was about to confront something beyond the realm of normalcy, something that would challenge everything he thought he knew and prepared for. Acting swiftly, he sprinted back to his patrol car and started the engine to flee the dreadful woods. As the headlights pierced the darkness, he made a chilling discovery. It was another mutilated deer laying on the road, perhaps something is sending a macabre warning urging him to leave immediately. Shell-shocked due to these disturbing events, his trance was shattered by an inhuman scream, followed by the deer's severed head crashing onto his windshield. Jolted into action, Officer Jeff floored the gas pedal, speeding away from the haunting scene. But the nightmare was far from over. As he sped away, his headlights suddenly illuminated a chilling sight, a humanoid figure crossing the road. Skidding to a halt, Officer Jeff's breath caught in his throat as his eyes locked with one of the creatures. It stood eerily human-like, looks like a female. The figure was tall and pale, with unnaturally elongated limbs and razor-sharp claws gleaming under the moonlight. Its eyes burned with a malevolent, otherworldly glow, and blood ominously dripped from its gaping mouth and clawed hands. Though dumbfounded, Officer Jeff wasted no time. He accelerated away, eager to escape the nightmare. That night, however, brought even more dread. He was called back to the Barnes household the next day, only to discover Mrs. Barnes brutally murdered, her body mutilated and dragged into the woods. Her head was found in a separate location, the crime seemed too horrific to put into words. Years have passed since that chilling night, and despite numerous investigations, no clear answers have emerged about the origins or motives behind the haunting events at Mrs. Barnes' residence. Throughout this period, Officer Jeff faced scrutiny, forced to defend his decision to flee that night, leaving Mrs. Barnes vulnerable. Some investigators even hinted at Jeff's potential involvement, but the truth remains locked within him all alone. 
He knew the danger that awaited Mrs. Barnes, yet he understood that sharing the full terror of that night would find him no believers, not even his own wife would believe him. Burdened by the trauma and the weight of his guilt, Officer Jeff has quietly continued his own inquiries, determined to uncover the nature of the beings involved. However, Mrs. Barnes was not the last of such incidents in that town. Subsequent incidents mirrored the horror of that night, yet each remained devoid of clues, deepening the mystery. Now, let's ponder who, or what, these creatures might be. Are they aliens? Supernatural entities? Or something else? But if you ask me, my theory diverges from the expected. I propose that these beings are human, yet far from ordinary. Consider the history of Miner's Mountain, as recounted by Officer Jeff. In the town's early days, there was a push to connect with the burgeoning railway system by tunneling through the mountain. However, environmental challenges halted the project abruptly, and the tunnel was sealed, leaving its name as a somber tribute to the miners involved. My theory suggests a darker twist. During the closure, some miners were tragically forgotten inside. Cut off from the world, they were forced to adapt and survive in unthinkable conditions. Over generations of this isolation and continuous inbreeding could have driven a dramatic evolution, shaping them into pale, resilient, carnivorous beings, the very creatures Officer Jeff encountered. What are your thoughts on this theory? Could these beings simply be a new evolution of humans, shaped by extreme circumstances? If you have other theories or insights, please share them in the comments. I'm eager to hear your perspectives, and the best response will be highlighted in our top comment section. As we